Hello, hello, you have reached Mystic Moho, and I come to you today with a comic read. So the comic is currently in the energy where she feel like she see Divine Feminine over there winning. She see Divine Feminine over there doing her retail therapy. She see Divine Feminine over there looking good, so this one wants to do what? A uh, essence beauty magic spell. Okay. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We come to you for downloads. We come to you for protection, for divine feminine. We come to you for guidance, for divine feminine. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what you would like to let us know about this guidance that <clears throat> for the feminine. So, we start this thing off today with the moon. And the moon came in reverse. And we know when the moon comes, it comes inconsistent energy. It may be spells. It may be things done under the moonlight. It may be hidden agendas. It may be betrayal. And it also may be wanting to silence secrets or magic. Okay, so we finished this thing off with the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is an intelligent female. This female is um, intelligent. She's independent. This independent, this end of female is grounded. She's analytical. She is logical. She is a, a professional. And she's very organized. A very organized woman. Tell us a little bit more about this, uh... This uh this other person. This uh this other person is in this person is in the four of cups energy. And when one is in a four of cups energy, uh, they are in a missed opportunity energy. They are in a lack of energy. They are in a lack of ambition. They don't have no imagination. And they also are in an energy where they are willing to do something that they may regret later on. So, we are going to start this thing off with my cards. We're going to go to the um, Mattress Back Comic Confessions. We would like to know why the comic wants insist on wanting to do beauty magic on you, girl. You is all ready. You don't need to be doing making yourself no more ugly than what you are, Mattress Maggie. Don't be trying to do no magic on nobody, girl. People was born looking the way they look. You can't change that, dog. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, well, these four wanted to, these wanted to come out, and I'm going to pick them up how they wanted to come out. And the first card that wanted to come out was Psycho. So if you wanted to know what was the characteristics of this person that wanted to do the magic on you, this person has Psycho tendencies. What are the other tendencies that this person has, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? They also, this person wants you to know that they are tracking you. They are looking at your moves. They are trying to figure out how you move. And the next card that comes out, someone is tracking you. You are on, this card says you are being tracked by GPS. Okay, and the other card that come out, the other, uh, uh, characteristic of this person is this person may have been, have, may have had a toxic upbringing so we have toxic mother in the reverse so this person this <clears throat> this comic she may be a toxic mother to her kids she may be her kids she may act a damn fool to her kids because this car came out toxic mom and this came out in reverse so we have a comic out here that may be toxic to her own children 
What's the other card that came out? Social media. So we have a comic out here that might spend a lot of her time on social media, hawking, stalking, lurking, all up in your business. And the next card that comes out is we have a comic out here that's doing the pregnancy spell. She's currently at the moment trying to get pregnant and she's uh doing spells to conceive. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else would you like Divine Feminine to know? You would like Divine the Feminine to know that this bitch is cray cray. She's a crazy. So your ancestors would like you to know, Divine Feminine, that this person does not have all their marbles, morals, and scruples. They are off a little bit. The crazy call came up. What else do you like her to know? And I said that. This person is currently have a hidden agenda to try to stop their pregnancy and become pregnant. The next card that come out is tracking period to trap him with a baby. So those are the energies of the comic at the present moment. What are the other energies of the comic? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, is there anything that you else do you want Divine Feminine to know about this comic? Oh, why is these calls turned over? As you see, these two is turned over. What else is turned over? It's a lot of calls turned over. These four is turned over. Okay, well, we're not going to take those because they just turned over. Holy Spirit. They still, they still turned over. That's not how that's supposed to be. I'm not sure for these calls. Okay, here's another one turned over. We got magic. We got cheating. Okay, so let's make this right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you please give us some characteristics of this comic? What is she lurking? What is she hawking? What is she up to at the current moment? It's still called turned over. I just can't remember. Um, I'm gonna need you to stop playing, girl. We got time for doing your shit. These two cards was turned over. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you please give us any messages that you would like Divine Feminine to know about this beauty magic and these hateful things that they want to done to this person? So, Holy Spirit, we have the characteristics of this person. We have a karmic kid that's very materialistic and she's willing to do any and everything to keep her material possession. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is she willing to do? We're dealing with another characteristic of this comic. This comic is angry all the time. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else would you like us to do about this comic? This comic is a pole dancer, or she may be an exotic dancer, or be at the strip club. However, this card came in reverse. So, the comic may not be getting any business in, in COVID-19. She may not be dancing as much as she used to. So, the money may not be coming in the way that it used to in the past. What else is going on with the comic? So, we have a comic here. The next card that came out is bisexual. And sometimes, I'm gay for pay. Hmm. So we may have comic over here that may be doing threesomes and other sexual activities with the same sex for money. What else is the comic doing? Yes, because she's shady baggy. The next card that comes out is shady. What else is she doing, Holy Spirit? Yes, she has an ancestral curse on her because of these attributes that she's currently doing. She has no ancestral guidance. Mm, that's about that. And we're also dealing with a karmic that's a narcissist here. Yes. So we're dealing with a young face, oh ho, that like to deal with that like to use her lower extremities that has a lot of mileage on it. <laughs> Community Katrina. All right. Well, tell me a little bit more about Community Katrina. Oh, Community Katrina sells her behind online. Yes. 
So the next card that came out is Sex for Sale Online. So we have a karmic out here that may be selling herself on social media, going to various websites, selling her ass. What else do we have out here? Oh yeah, we have a karmic out here that is crying for help. Mmm, okay. So tell me another characteristic of this karmic. She's a goddamn stinking filthy liar. Every word that comes out of her mouth, you cannot believe it because the truth is not in this person. And she also looked like a hitman in the face. Also, she's a sneaky bitch. This one here that we did them with, the next one that comes out is a sneaky one. She's a sneaky bitch. So what are the other characteristics of this person? She has a gutter mouth and she likes to gossip. This card that comes out is gutter mouth gossiper. What are the other characteristics? Okay, so this karmic that we dealing with, she likes to deal with sus seductive, lustful, sexual energy. Okay, what else does she do? This one here is a girl with a snake. All right. So she may indulge in spell work, magic, mirror magic, and things of that nature. And at the bottom of the deck, we have what? Spell work. Okay, so we have one over here that likes to do the Dollar Tree magic. All right. What else? And the next card that comes out is, you let me hurt you, divine masculine. Holy Spirit, holy angels, let me know. We would like to know what are the evilness that this comic has playing for divine feminine. This is what we came here to know. All right. So, we know that the karmic does not want you to know that she has been caught cheating on the masculine because this card come out is caught cheating. So we have a hotel room and someone entering the door and finding out that what the karmic said was not what the karmic did because the karmic was cheating. All right, let's put these up. So the first card we had to come out is the karmic is cheating. What else is the karmic doing? The karmic is doing mind fuckery on Divine Masculine. However, Divine Masculine, this came in reverse. Divine Masculine is on to her mind fuckery. Because this came in reverse. Okay, what else is Divine Masculine? And she's denial. She's in denial that the masculine is on to her lies, her cheating, her lurking. However, divine masculine is on to her because the denial card came in reverse. Okay, what else is going on with the comic? Yes, the comic got a thug nigga calling a thug nigga. This one for y'all. All these comics, this comic is like, yeah, yeah, I got to have me a man with a little bit of cash. He got to have that bag, bag, that thing, thing, and that thing, thing that she want is that bag. So the next card that come out is thug type with the bag. So this is what the comic is currently looking for. That thug type with that bag, that one with that money, that one that will crank you upside your head, that one that wants you to carry his drugs for him and maybe be on an episode of For My Man, you know, that type of man. You know, the one that will put you in a situation and don't care about nothing about you as long as he's getting his dollars. That type. Okay. All right. And the current the comic is currently in a vampire energy, divine feminine. She still wants to suck your energy. She wants to take your beauty. She wants to take things away from you, darling dear. She's in a vampire energy. She wants to suck that grounded energy. She wants to suck that positive energy. Want you? She wants that. What else do she want? Oh. 
She want to let you know, girl, that she is making accounts to spy on you, dog and dear. And the next card that comes up, making fake accounts to spy on you. All right. What else is the comic doing? And at the bottom of the deck, we have beauty spells. Darling, so the comic is now in an energy where she feels like you're so pretty. You dress so nice every time you see her. You're looking nice. Your hair look good. Your makeup is right, honey. And all of those things that you're doing yourself, that retail therapy, she won't. The next card that comes up is beauty spells. So that pretty calm, that pretty divine feminine with that nice skin that, that, that feels like butter when you touch it, her want that. That pretty divine feminine that always have her nails done and her hair always look fried, dyed, and laid to the side, she want that. She want to take your beauty from away from you, darling. What else do you want? Call me. Mmm from Divine Feminine. She don't want you to know that she has an alcohol problem. The next card that comes out is alcohol abuse. And she has alcohol abuse because every time that she thinks, she thinks about your glow up. Every time that she thinks, she think about your success. Every time that she thinks, she think that those little things that you have mean little things to you, but they mean the world to her. And you got it, and she want it. What else does she have? Because she has very bad habits, darling. And she knows she has bad habits. She has substance abuse habits. She has sex addiction habits. She has drug habits. All those things that you are not into, Divine Feminine. This is why she wants to steal your energy, baby girl. What else do she want? Holy Spirit, what else do she want from Divine Feminine that she sees? Mm. Divine Feminine, she see what you're doing on social media because the next card that come out is pretending to be another on social media to spy on you, baby girl. So all those times you looking those pretty and you getting all those likes and those thumbs up, baby, the comic is seeing all that. Mm. What else is she saying? And it's making her rather angry at your glow up, baby. She don't like that you look good on social media. She don't like that your fingernails match your hair. She don't like that your fingernails match your outfit and you stepping in them red bottoms and you looking good. Her don't like that, but her looking, her very angry at you, girl. Her mad at your glow up child. She's mad at your glow up divine feminine. So you keep the work up girl and keep her mad. I know that's right. The hair added hooligan. She getting mad. She wanna act the fucking fool again. She wanna pull her motherfucking tool again. And pull it out on divine feminine. Hair headed hooligan. Hair headed hooligan. She make you wanna act a fucking fool again. She jealous of divine feminine. The fucking hair-headed hooligan, hair-headed hooligan. That's them! Girl, they jealous of you, girl. Them with them hair hats on, girl. Them jealous of your glow up, girl. Yes, girl. They so, they so, they so into your glow up, girl. It is giving them drug addictions, girl. They is doing drugs about your glow up. You are on their mind so much now that they are doing drugs, baby doll. Girl, you are that. You are the one that the grass grows beneath your feet, girl. You got them. They on your mind so much, girl, that they starting to do freaking fried drugs. Damn, Divine Feminine, what you doing? Let me know. Let me in on this secret. I would like to know. This girl got people over here having drug addictions because she growing up. Divine family. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. That is a lot of things. People hurting themselves and doing drugs. And these two ones that fall on the floor, girl. They doing drugs, girl. And they watching you. They watching you. These two cars came out. They doing drugs, girl, because they see you watching. They see... Damn, dang it. 
they see you glowing up, girl. They are watching you, girl. And they are doing drugs, girl. You know you doing a lot of things, Divine Feminine. Because you got somebody doing drugs. Because they see you glowing up, girl. You on their mind like that, girl. You are a celebrity, boo-boo. You are on their mind, girl. And somebody over there with the STDs and the things, the STDs and the STIs, somebody over there with the drip, 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 drip. They over there with them STDs. We are the herpes, the good old herpes. We are your best friend. We'll stay with you to the end. No cure for me inside. I won't go out without a fight. Cause I'm the herpes, the herpes. See you in hell, motherfuckers. Cause when that come, ain't no turning back, baby. When you got them herpes and them spores all hurting on your private parts because you can't get rid of them because you're having sex with people and you're getting STDs and STIs, isn't your life worth more than that? Isn't your life worth more than a shot? Isn't your life worth because you want to have sex without no condoms on and contract the STD? You're better than that now. You're better than that, Connie. And the next card that wants to come out this and flicking thing is abortions. So not only is you walking around with the STDs, with the drip, 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 drip. You're walking around with the green, uh, the little white, uh, chunky stuff. Chunky draw, chunky butt, chunky butt, chunky butt. That's what we're going to call you. Thought pocket chunky butt. You're walking around with the drippies in your undies. Then you're not protecting yourself and you're having abortions. I can't stand you type of women that has sex with people and use um, abortions as birth control. I can't stand you people that does these things, but we have a comic that seems like she does those attributes because we have STD and then we have abortions. Lord, help these people. Because we know in your word, Divine Heavenly Father, that is something that you do not do. You do not play. And I don't, I just don't do it. I feel strongly about the STD, I mean, about the abortion thing. And yes, the next call, at the next call at the bottom of the deck is mental health. So we're dealing with a comic that has mental health issues and we also deal with a immature energy. This is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with someone that has mental health concerns and someone that has an immature energy. What are the other energies that we are dealing with with this person? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What are the other energies that we are dealing with with this person. This person likes to deal and dabble and dip with entities that they know that they that are not of the divine. Let me say that because the next card that we have to come up is blood magic. So we have this person over here that likes to deal with entities that are not of the divine. What else do we have with this person? And we also have this person that likes to tag team with the hate. They like to have the friend, Lil Roro, and Keisha, and the rest of the hating ass friends tag teaming with the hate all on your line. Okay, I'm going to go on there today and see what she's doing, right? When I'm finished today, you go on there tomorrow and tell me what she did on her Instagram. You, you Kiki, you tell me what she doing her on Instagram. Riri, you go on over there to Facebook and let me go on over there. And Sean, you go over there and see what she doing on her TikTok. And I'm going to take her Facebook. So the next card that we comes out is tag teaming. Sneaking assistance for hate online. Okay? So we have the comic not only trying to do blood magic, not only trying to do Essence Beauty magic on you. Essence Beauty magic. Then we also have her trying to finish the altar of hate on up with the blood magic. 
What else is she doing, Holy Spirit, that you would like her to know, okay? At the altar, and she's doing my altar and spells. This is the next card that come out. So if you're waking up at night and you're thinking things that you normally don't think about, and you're thinking, oh, I can't do it. Oh, I'm not worthy. And you think of negative things about yourself. That's not your thinking, divine feminine. That's the karmic doing a mind-altering spell on you. Get your mind right. Get it together and get your mind on the divine and get your mind on your ancestors. And you won't have to worry about no damn man onto a spell because it won't work. Because your ancestors going to block it and our divine going to block it. How about that? Horse face. Oh, horse face. <laughs> With your ugly ass got to do that goddamn magic on people. Because you insecure with yourself. And the next card that came out came in reverse. She's still plotting on your downfall, trying to ruin your reputation. This was the card that came out next. However, it came in the reverse, which means that your ancestors is saying, screw you, girl. All your stuff that you trying to do towards divine feminine, it ain't working. So come and go take your damn lace front off, your old bald-headed ass, because we don't care what you thinking. And she also, all of these mean and hateful things that she do when she get online and she on your business and she on your Facebook and some of y'all that got pages and um, blogs and all the rest of that. After she do all that hate, she destroys evidence and she deletes everything that she do. Hater. What else does this hater do? And I'm about to be up out. This hater, like I said, Divine Feminine, not only is she doing mind-altering spells, she's doing black magic, she's doing beauty magic, but the hoe is trying to figure out what's going on with your life because she's trying to figure out what you're doing over there in Turo Lane. She's trying to figure out what you're doing over there in Turo Lane. And I am going to go on that note. Do not blame me. For spilling the tea. It was not me. It was the cause. You see. If you like my vibe. Like, share, and subscribe.